Hello guys, welcome back to Unity Cruise. My name is Mahin and this is the lesson 6 in Knock It Down game series. In this tutorial, we will learn how to make an explosive can or a blast can. So without wasting a time, let's get started. So to make an explosive can, first I will go to my prefab and this is my can prefab and I duplicate this one. This is bomb can. Let's import in the scene. First of all, uh, I would like to change this material. Okay, in the textures, I have already imported a uh, bomb texture and a normal normal map. Uh, this is imported as a normal map and this is a normal default texture type. Okay, so go to this material basic can and uh, I have uh, already attached a normal map. If you don't see in my previous video, please uh, go there and uh, select a normal map or you can just go to the texture and assign the normal map here to make a new material just duplicate this one and name it bomb can okay then change the albedo to this bomb can texture and apply this material to my this box as you can see now it's looking like an explosive box so simply hit apply and it should up automatically okay okay now it's updated here so uh, this is for the texturing now just uh, I am placing it nearby my can now we will uh, add an explosive effect so when the ball will hit this can this can will blast and it will also create an explosion effect so this other can will also shatter in the in different directions so let's jump into the coding and uh, first of all uh, I would like to make a few variables first one is public bool is bomb can next private integer blast force which I like to keep is 1000 because I have already tested this one next private integer blast radius which I would like to keep it 20 next uh, I will make a this can object uh, is a child of this group so that this is a part of the set one can now what we need to do when we will hit this object with a with our ball we need to ref get reference of all the rigid body components which is around this object so that we can apply an ex explosive force to these objects so how are we gonna do that so for that we will call on collision enter here first we will check if is the bomb can so this is only calculated for the bomb can next we will check if this can is hit by the ball so if collision.gameobject.name is equal to ball that means it is uh, hit by our ball not by any other uh, can because it can also be um, collide with any other normal cans which we in, uh, don't want in this case to get uh, reference of all the colliders nearby this object we will simply use an overlap uh, spare function so to use that we will use like physics dot overlap sphere and it has in vector 3 position and a radius so the position will be transform dot position the position is this uh, bomb cans position and the radius is blast radius which we already defined and this will return a array of collider so which we will store in a array here we have already uh, we have store all the colliders in this collider array to add force to each collider we will uh, we need to loop through all the collider and uh, get a rigid body component and add force to that so to do that we will use for each method simply type for each and double tap so for each collider you can name it c in colliders you can now get the reference of rigid body so rigid body rb will equal to c dot get component type rigid body and next we will check if this object has a rigid body so if our rigid body is not equal to null that means if this has uh, a rigid body then we will add an explosive force to to do that so we simply type rb dot add explosion force with this is uh, especially designed to add explosion force in unity and as you can see in this uh, arguments first we need to define explosion force so we have already 
define uh, explosion force we have blast force and blast radius so blast force and the position will be transform dot position uh, blast radius uh, explosion radius will be our blast radius uh, next upward modifier so upward modifier is something like how much force you want to uh, apply in the upper directions so for now just keep it four because this is working fine and for the force mode I would like to use impulse by default it is set to acceleration but I'm I want to use impulse because it is uh, like much more force and it uh, looks good in this situation this is much uh, we have done everything now let's test if this is working or not first go to the prefab of this can and apply that it is a bomb can and next try to play the game if it is working I'm trying to hit the blast can the bomb can with my ball and okay as you can see we have successfully loaded a new level and uh, let me just quickly set one for the next set two let's try one more time as you can see the blast is working fine and this one is working and the second one and i am trying the middle one okay okay this is working fine the last thing is which is remaining is the uh, particle effects because right now it's looking like uh, the, there is some invisible force which we are trying to apply to these boxes so to add particle effect you can go to asset store and download the unity particle effect which are really cool i think you should check all of them simply go to unity store and type unity particle pack and you can use uh, whichever you want i have used this 51x because my unity version is 2017 and this one is not uh, import allowed to import in 17 so i used uh, 5x you can use if you are using unity 2018 you can use this one i have used this one and i have already imported this so i'm not gonna import it again and here are some particle go to particles and prefabs and here are the prefabs so uh, right now i have used this big explosion and because this is looking good but what I have done is that I have uh, slightly modified it. I have uh, deleted this debris because I don't need them. And I also increase the size, maybe this one to one, one and one. And yeah, that's like that. This is now looking really cool. And I, I have uh, made a prefab already. So I don't need it so go to the prefab you can find it in this source project uh, i will also provide a link to this source files so which you can download it and test it so this is my very edited particle effect as you can see it's looking very great so uh, let's add the particle effect so to add particle effect i need a game object i'm just keeping it public game object blast effects okay and after the for each loop we will simply instantiate this one so instantiate blast effects comma transform dot position and quaternion dot identity so as always so first we are applying the force and next we are adding this particle effects so let me just uh, particle effects okay let's go and assign our reference so let's try it in full screen and voila great it's looking great i love it i love it okay that's great in the next tutorial we will also add a uh, life can so when we hit that can it will give us one more ball sorry not life can actually a ball can so it will give us one more ball to shoot so that's pretty much it for this video and uh, if you like my video please subscribe this really helps me to make 
more and more videos and if you have any queries you can write down in the comment section below so see you in the next tutorial thank you guys thanks for watching